you wear glasses, do you feel like they're never clean enough? I feel like I am cleaning them constantly. I have rags, I have spray, and they are never clean enough. Never. So in August, we'll be paying for the general debauchery that happened in July, which you'll be seeing in a couple of days. And the me unexpected medical testing for Melina. So it's not going to be a fantastic month. And it's directly impacting our debt payoff date. So let's go over the budget line by line and see where we're going to come up with the money to pay for all this stuff. Our utilities will be $210.40 for the cell phone. Why the increase, you ask? Because we got a huge discount from our cell phone company for Mauricio back when he was Ubering, and they removed that discount, so it kicked our bill up a lot. So we're working on getting that back down, figuring out what other discounts we can get through Verizon to get that down. And our storage unit is our standard 270. So if you don't know why we have a storage unit, go ahead and click on the eye in the sky and that will explain everything. In transportation, we have $150 for gas because Mauricio and I are not carpooling together this summer because Melina's camps, one thing we have learned about summer camp is that we must, must, must have before and after care because Melina's camps are from nine to three and one of us has to get her to camp and the other one has to pick her up. So Mauricio's schedule is from Odark 30 until 2.30 so he can pick her up. And my schedule is I drop Melina off at nine, I go to work and then I work until six. So, so we are back to driving our, our huge, gas guzzling vehicle and it's been pretty solid in the gas guzzling department and then another $70 for easy pass because easy pass is our local toll road system and it auto charges when we get too low for $70 and sometimes I use it and sometimes I don't but I like to keep it in there just in case in the Molina category, we did not purchase the school supplies and the new school clothes like I had planned on doing in July. So I am going to attempt to do that again in August, but since school starts in August, I'm pretty solidly going to be doing that. Insurance and tax, we have our USAA insurance at $169.73 and our USAA life insurance at $91.65, but both of those come directly out of my USAA bank account, which I don't have tied to every dollar, so those don't cross every dollar, but I keep them in there for, you know, memory's sake. And then I have CMFG insurance for $12 a month, and $35.83 for life insurance for Mauricio because you got to have life insurance. In our cash category, we have $400 for groceries. And I am really hoping that that will stretch out for the whole month. I am still focusing on eating fruits and vegetables as a major source of my food intake. And it is expensive. So... I'm going to see how I do this month. We might have to up our grocery budget. We might not. I don't know. I'm I'm trying to eat frozen fruits and vegetables as well, but I really like fresh. So that's like, mm, I just love a good salad. I really do. And people think I'm weird because, you know, salad's one of those things you have to eat, but I actually love salad. And then Mauricio and I have $100 each for blow money, which is the money that we, you know, spend on whatever we want. And some people call it personal money. We call it blow money. Um, Mauricio typically goes out to eat with his coworkers, and I am now getting like a mani pedi once a month, and that's pretty close to 100 bucks. And then I have, you know, a little bit extra in there if I want to get, like, I don't know, whatever I feel like getting at the moment. Then we have an additional $20 in there for dry cleaning. I've been having a lot of meetings at headquarters, which involves suits, which involves dry cleaning. So I do not dry clean my items every time I wear them, obviously, only if, if they are dirty. But 
it's still something that happens fairly frequently at this house. Then we have $25 for a haircut for Mauricio, $100 for family outings, and $360 for swimming lessons for Melina. And those have really, really helped. She is completely over the fear that of water that she had, and it's now she's like swimming like a champ. She goes off the diving board even, swims in the deep end. It's like night and day different from back in the beginning of the summer. And I credit it 100% to the swimming lessons that she's taking. And then in our reoccurring annual expenses category, we have $30.97 for iTunes, $44.95 for Weight Watchers, $14.95 for Audible, $25 for Skype, and $3.99 for Amazon Music. In my YouTube category, we have $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Backblaze, $9 for Morning Fame, and $19.95 for a YouTube group that I belong to. Yes. Oh, you filming? No. You're just sitting there. I'm just sitting in front of, you know, these big lights. Here, let me show you. See? Big lights. Big You're weird. lights. Bye. In the medical category, we have $3,750 budgeted for the medical testing that we have to pay out of pocket and hopefully we'll get reimbursed for Melina. Actually, I'm kind of hoping we don't get reimbursed because if we get reimbursed, it means there's an issue. If we don't get reimbursed, it means there's no issue. So here's fingers crossed that I'm just paying $4,000 for nothing. <laughs> anyway. So we have already paid $300 on that already. And then the day this video comes out, we actually will be writing a check for, I think another $1,700. And then the last $2,000 will come in August. But since it was the last day of the month that we're writing this check, it obviously won't clear until August. So I'm just rolling all that money over to August. In the work expenses category, we have a thousand dollars. Oh my goodness. In the work expenses category, we have a hundred dollars for parking for Mauricio because we're doing the flip flop schedule. Mauricio and I are both parking and Mauricio really tries very hard to get to work in time to get free parking on the street, but sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't. And so we need to have it in there in case he has to park a lot um, in the parking garage because it is $11 at a time to park in the parking garage. When we commute together, we don't have this because I, with my job, I actually get free parking. So he parks, well, we park in my spot for free. So I really kind of miss commuting with Mauricio. I'm actually very surprised. We talk, you know, that's when we hash out, you know, any issues that we're having with Mel's or, you know, life issues or whatever. We just talk through it and, and mostly Mauricio talks. It's very surprising, but he just, I, I guess in the morning I like to talk and he listens to music and in the afternoon he likes to talk and I like to just decompress, but you know, I just listen to him talk. It's, it's very pleasant. Sometimes we listen to audiobooks or podcasts or music, but most of the time we're just chatting. Kind of miss it. It's like bonding for husband and wife. In our sinking fund category, we have $150 going to medical expenses, $100 going to a car repair replace fund, $100 going to a Christmas fund, $100 for an emergency trip to Columbia, $50 for miscellaneous school expenses for Melina, we don't contribute anything to the emergency fund, $200 going to summer camp for next summer, and $1,000 going to a trip to Columbia in December. So I've had several people ask why we are still contributing to an emergency trip to Columbia when we are going to Columbia in December. And the emergency trip to Columbia is for Mauricio should someone pass or something like that or someone get ill that he needs to go back at the very last minute. I, now that his sister's back in Columbia, if somebody gets ill, that's not such an issue because she is there to help. But um, should somebody pass, Mauricio obviously would want to be there for his family. In our online category, we have $100 for Amazon because we always spend $100 on Amazon. And we have also $100 in our cushion category because 
everybody needs a cushion in their budget because stuff comes up and you want the flexibility without having to freak out. So this month, the debt payoff. We were supposed to have the debt paid off this month, but because of the medical expenses, it is not going to be happening, obviously. I'm doing a whole video next week on our new like debt payoff plan and when everything will be paid off and now that we're staying, what we can expect to pay off reasonably. So look forward to that. You'll see how we're incorporating our the the loans, the school loans for Tio and Tia, Molina's aunt and uncle, Tio and Tia, meaning aunt and uncle in Spanish, um, how we will be incorporating those into our snowball and exactly at what point. So look forward to that video. But this month we will only be putting $5,105.48 to debt. Yeah, I'm actually really kind of sad about this because that means it's only, it's mostly coming out of our snowball and we're pretty dang close to having that loan paid off and I just want it gone. I feel like having that paid off, it just creates this big giant snowball and it's amazing and I'm super excited to have that loan gone, but it will absolutely be paid off next month barring Murphy. Because, you know, Murphy happens. So every dollar says it's an every dollar budget. So we are a zero based budget and I am very happy about that. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.